Electron Configuration Summary. So let me use this example, 3D, to explain the four different elements in the quantum theory. First, principle, we have n, and this is the size and energy of the orbital. So in here, looking at 3D, the n, let me use a different color, the n would be 3, just this number in here. The angular momentum, which is the orbital shape, we have S, P, D, F. So S is zero, P is one, D is two, F is three. So in here, when we have D, it is two. So the L is two. And how do we find this? Well, another way to look at this is that it is N minus one. So in here, we have three, three minus one, that would be two. So it is confirmed. And for magnetic, that is the orientation of orbital. So when we have the d orbitals, don't forget that there are five different orientations. You may look at the other videos for details, but we know that there are four, five different orientations, right? I'll just quickly do this. I'm not going to label each of them. You can check out my other videos for details. So for magnetic, the different orientation of orbitals, it depends. So ML depends on the L. So if L is 2, it means that there's negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So the orbitals, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then for the spin, ms, we have a half up and half down. That's the direction of the spin. So when you look at this, you can think that these are the electrons that spin. So remember, if it is a d orbital, there are one, two, three, four, five, five different slots. In each slot, you put arrows in it, right? If it is a full, full house, there we go. You can do that. So I will add this in. This is three d ten. So the spin going up is positive a half going down as negative a half. So negative a half and positive a half. 